Hi there, this is Mr. Yoder, and I'm going to talk a little bit about what fractions are. And we're actually going to do this on Google Slides, and you are too. I'm going to have you try this on Google Slides. I've never tried this before, so we'll see if this works. So you're going to have to follow along carefully. First, I'm going to start with what are fractions? Well, first off, a fraction is when you have part of something. So, for example, have you ever had to share a cookie? Let's say that someone said, hey, I'll split that in half with you. That's what we're talking about here with fractions. You have to split something into pieces, and the pieces need to be equal. So, for example, here I have one half listed as a fraction. The problem is, this isn't actually one half of a cookie. This is a whole cookie. What this fraction means is, I want one piece out of two. Two pieces would make the whole cookie, so I could cut in half, and I would suddenly have how many pieces? Two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a hold of this, like this. Whoa, now I have it split in half. I have one half here, and I have one half there, and if I ate one half, it'd be gone, just like that. Amazing, huh? All right, so you need to keep in mind what this top number means and what the bottom number means. First off, the top number is the numerator, and it's how many pieces you have. So I had one piece on this one. The denominator tells you how many pieces it takes to have the whole cookie. That's just an example. So I needed two pieces to have a whole cookie. I had one of them to eat. All right, so now you're gonna do this in Google Slides. I'm on slide number four now. And you can switch to slide number four right away when you get started in your slides because I'm gonna share this slideshow with you so that way you can switch to the slide and you can work in it. So here we go. I want you to insert two tables to show which fraction is bigger. You're going to use greater than, less than, or equal in between the two fractions below. So here's our two fractions we're going to work with. We're going to start with two-thirds versus three-fourths. We're going to see which one is bigger. And it's not very hard to do in Google Slides, and the reason why is because they make you some tables or some boxes to work in, and they're really easy to use. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here where it says insert, and I'm going to go over here where it says table, and I'm going to make it, oh, hold on, I'm gonna click off to the side here. I need to make my first table three boxes big. So I'm gonna hit insert, I'm gonna go to table, and I'm gonna go one, two, three across the top, click on the third one, and now I have a table. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a hold of it, and you only wanna grab a hold of it when you have these crosshairs like this. I'm gonna slide it up a little bit, okay? Now I need another table, and this one is three-fourths, so this one needs to be four boxes big. So I'm gonna hit insert, and I'm gonna hit table. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four across the top, and boom, now I have two tables here. And I'm gonna slide this one down, and notice how there's a little red line right in the middle of my two tables. It's letting me know that those middles are matching up. Isn't that nice of them to let me know? And as you can see, they're perfectly aligned here. Fantastic, huh? So now, I need to represent two thirds, and I need to represent three fourths. So here in my thirds, see one, two, three, I need to eat two of them. So, or I need to keep two of them, and break off another one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click in this box here, and I'm going to fill it with a paint bucket. If you don't see the paint bucket, it might be in the more button over here. But I see the paint bucket right here. I'm gonna click on the paint bucket, and I'm gonna choose a color. Let's do green. Now, that's only one third. I want to color in another one. I'm going to click in the next box. I'm going to hit the paint bucket. I'm going to color it green as well. I want the same color for both of them. That represents two thirds. One, two, out of a total of three, two thirds. Now I need to color in three fourths. I'm going to go down to my fourth table. And I'm going to color in how many? You're right, if you said three. I'm going to color in three of those. So I'm going to go click in that one, Hit my paint bucket, go one, click in this one, two, and click in that one, three. And now I have three. So which one is bigger? Which one is greater? Use these symbols to represent it. So to get those symbols, they're on your keyboard, and they're close to the letter M, and you hold down shift, and I'm going to hit this one right here. So that way it shows that this symbol, that two thirds is less than three fourths. Right now I'm gonna have you do the same thing. And you want the symbol 
going toward, like looking like it's going to eat the bigger piece here. And you're going to do this on slide number five, where you're going to compare one sixth and then one third. You're going to do this on slide number six, slide number seven, and so on. Okay, I want you to try it yourself. And so don't forget, you just go to insert, you go to table, and you go across how many you need for each table. So I'm going to have you try that out, and we'll see how well you do with that. All right, have fun with Google Slides.